Huey is so wild. Yeah. Because what he does is so blatant. Yeah. Like the Panera Bread thing. The Panera Bread. The Panera Bread thing's amazing. You almost have to respect it. You almost have to respect it. It's so crazy. <laughs> it's like, explain it to people. Wait, well, hold up. Yeah, the Panera Bread. So it's like, you're going to raise the minimum wage for all fast food restaurants to $20 an hour, except for Panera Bread. Uh, because the Panera Bread guy is his friend. I and think it's and separate, donor. Yeah. But the way around that yeah. to make don't look that obvious is places with big groups. What, that's not, what is the, I mean, why? Why a specific way of cooking? There is no rational justification. There's no rational justification for it. Uh, and, and, and so it's almost like, oh, what says Panera is not exempted from California's fast food minimum wage law after all. On February 28th, Bloomberg reported that bakery chain Panera would be exempt from California's AB1228 law, a law that raises minimum wage for fast food workers from $16 to $20 an hour starting anyone. So why um, is that? How is it not exempted? That's a little fact check. I didn't know that. Yeah. They were saying that it was bakeries were exempt. So what is exempt? Uh, it said, okay, Governor Gavin Newsom told the Los Angeles Times Panera would not be exempt from the law. The spokesperson also did not claim the Bloomberg piece, which cited sources close to the matter that Newsom pushed for an exemption that applies to businesses that bake bread and sell as a standalone sell it as a standalone item, calling the report absurd. So it, it is it a fake story? Or is it something that they they, they might have they crossed the course quickly? Course quickly, yeah. Yeah. Oh, the the roll up to the top. So where is the re initial report? Let's find the initial report. Because why would Bloomberg spread bullshit? Bloomberg is a financial paper, right? Yeah, that's right. That's not something I don't think it would be. You yeah. know, you really can't do that if you're running a financial paper. It's not like the New York Times. The New York Times can say Israel bombed the hospital. And 500 people were killed and put on the front page, even if it's not true. And everybody just assumes it's true because it's the New York Times. But they can kind of get away with that. Yeah. Then they still exist. But if Bloomberg started doing shit like that, if Bloomberg started lying about businesses and what businesses are doing or tax laws, that seems insane. How Panera Bread ducked California's new $20 minimum wage. This is Bloomberg. Governor pushed for a carve out that's perplexed industry observers and benefited a donor. So how do we know that this is true? No, no, no. Do we have to subscribe? It's Reddit paywall. Okay, no worries. We'll subscribe. You owe, uh, we owe you blue road. But it's, um, there must be something to it. And it's so hard with that guy because when you just look at the way he praised uh, Biden, I would never run against him. A man of character. You know, like, like I'm old school. It's, God. He, it's like he's playing someone in a movie that's yeah. a crazy person. It's like that's how that's how like a really good actor yeah. would play a complete crazy person who's insincere enough that smart people recognize it. Yeah. But that like really dull minded blue no matter who people are like he's a winner. That guy, he's got my vote. I'll tell you what, he can win. He can win this for us. But the problem is, is that that's not wrong. I mean, yeah. Gavin Newsom is a fearsome political talent and his willingness to do or say anything <laughs> and do it with a straight face, with that sincere voice and that cool, you know, yeah. swoopy hair. I mean, I love that he keeps getting busted, too. Yeah. I love that he got busted during the pandemic, eating inside with no mask on. He's just fucking sh the, the shamelessness on that guy is like. It's like a laboratory specimen. Yeah. I mean, it's actually is an interesting guy and fascinating person in that way. I'm not a fan. I disagree with them politically, but I don't think he should be underestimated because those of us who can see through it, yeah, I think are actually a pretty small number of people. Well, uh, I think you're probably right. And I think there's also people that just want a really good quarterback.